tracking world 1.6.0 yes that's right a new update after so long so what do we have this time some pretty big changes the version of unity has been changed it is now using version 2020.3.0 f1 if you have created scenes for tracking world you will have to re-export them with that new version this new version brings a lot of changes behind the scene. The way VR integration works is different, so check if you run into any troubles. Shortcuts now have a toggle option for expressions and gestures, so you don't have to hold the button anymore and instead pressing it once. You can now use the VMC protocol to send and receive data from other programs. There is a send receive menu. You can send data from the avatar to another program using address and port. The motion of the avatar can be transmitted to another program such as PC face, so you can use the avatar movements elsewhere. You can also receive data from another source and filter which part of the data you want. There is a way to resize the window to a certain size from a settings menu. Some changes with the controllers. The activate has been split with the grab. So grabbing thing uses a different action than activating. If you didn't change the bindings, it won't really make a change for you, since it will update to the new bindings. The VR rendering toggle should now properly work. If you have any issues with it, please report them to me. Another big change is the way the preview mirror works. Instead of being static, there is now a setting window to move it around, rotate, change opacity, and attach it to the headset or controller. It now works as an overlay, meaning that it will display above everything. But what's interesting is, even if VR rendering is off, the overlay will still show up. This allows you to still be able to see what your avatar looks like while you're running another VR game. And that's it for the new changes. Please check it out and don't hesitate to ask if you have any problem. Thanks for watching.